This year will bring Mars closer to Earth than it has been for 15 years. But why is that special? In this video, I take a closer look into this, coming up. On Friday the 27th of July, 2018, the Earth in its orbit around the Sun passed directly between the Sun and Mars. The three celestial bodies aligned with the Earth in the middle. This event is known by astronomers as the opposition of Mars, with the Sun and Mars on opposite sides of the sky. The Earth takes 365 days to orbit once around the Sun. We call this a year. A Martian year, however, is longer. Mars takes 687 days to orbit the Sun, which is nearly two Earth years. The two planets orbit the Sun at different distances and speeds, with Earth closer to the Sun and thus with the faster orbit. Every 780 days, Earth catches up to Mars and overtakes the red planet in its orbit. When this happens, it is called Mars opposition. Each opposition is different, as the distance between the two planets will vary due to both planets having elliptical orbits. The 2003 opposition of Mars brought the red planet to within 34.6 million miles. This is the closest the Earth and Mars have been to each other in nearly 60,000 years. And according to NASA, this record won't be broken again until August 28, 2287. This year's opposition brought Earth and Mars closer together than they have been since 2003, a mere 35.8 million miles. The next opposition of Mars will occur on October 13, 2020, when the red planet will be around 38.9 million miles from Earth. Our next extra close opposition encounter with Mars will be on September the 15th, 2035. Just like this year's opposition, it will be close, but not as close as the historic event of 2003. The weeks leading up to and after the opposition will see Mars brighten a lot in the night sky, even outshining Jupiter. This will move Mars up to the fourth brightest object in the sky after the Sun, Moon and Venus. Even though Mars opposition this year has passed, the red planet makes its closest approach to Earth on Tuesday the 31st of July 2018, where it will peak in size and brightness. As Mars and the Sun are directly opposite each other during opposition, Mars will rise as the Sun sets, and set again as the Sun rises the following day. This makes viewing Mars very easy from Earth, as Mars is visible all night long, as long as you have clear skies. If you want to learn more about the red planet, be sure to watch my video on Mars, where I take a closer look at our celestial neighbour. For a more detailed look into our exploration of Mars, and the future endeavour of sending humans to colonise the red planet, be sure to watch the Case for Mars series hosted by Martian Wolf on his YouTube channel, the link to which is in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, it really does help the channel out, and if this is your first time here, consider subscribing. And until next time, see ya! This is fun.